You're going to have to lead us. Dream, 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 dream. Dream, dream. Welcome. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, who's going to hit the high note here? In their high note? Whenever I want to. I don't, I don't think know. there is in that one. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of a different song. Another song about dreams? Uh, maybe. Sweet dreams are made of these. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Who am I to disagree? <laughs> Travel the world and the seven seas. Are you singing the Marilyn Mansion? Right? He totally is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. What other version would you sing? Man. The original yeah, the version? Yeah. version that exists. <laughs> Whatever. Some of them want to use you. Well, there you have it, folks. You're probably not going to fall asleep now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Five's a Crowd with me and my five. Well, four. actually, there's four of you. So I you, think of myself as the third oh, person. Did it yeah. <laughs> I did it last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hold on. Well, you know, you know, there's four other people. I think of myself in the third person. So there's five of us. But anyways, we got Zach, we got Tony, we got Austin, we got Chris. Hello. Hola. Hello. And today, I am very excited to talk about dreams. Yes, sir. If dreams you guys are don't know, we have all gone around this table, all talking about a topic that was interesting to us where none of the others could veto it. That is crazy. And dreams is yep. cams. And lo and behold, the other night I was sitting in the sauna, getting real hot, and I thought to myself, I want to talk about dreams. In the sauna? I, were Are you, you really sauna? in the sauna? I really was. All right. I was toasty in now, there. Now, were you naked in the sauna? No, because they frown upon that at Vasa. <laughs> <laughs> but you would be otherwise. Oh, uh, heck yeah, dude. He learned that the hard way. In my way. own sauna, I would definitely be naked in it. <laughs> Let it just drip down. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> um, the reason I'm I want to talk about dreams. <laughs> no, you're not you're wrong. You're not wrong. I've always been just super fascinated with the dreaming world. I remember in high school, I was in a psychology class mm. and I like I, I was bored <laughs> listening and I just skipped ahead in our book and I found the section on dreams. and I was like, oh, yeah. And I just sat there and read about dreams, read about how when they occur, when we're sleeping, how they occur. And then just over the years, like having my own like dreams. I had a dream journal at one point because I wanted to remember my dreams more vividly oh. and more often. Um, and That's I a just, great idea. I just had a blast. Oh, you, I mean, you guys might pick up some tips here and, and decide to keep some yourself. I'd be afraid my wife would find it. <laughs> you can <laughs> hide it. Now, what you hiding uh, in your dreams? <laughs> They're we'll very personal. That. We'll get into that. That's now, why it's a journal. A dream oh, okay. journal. So you wake up from a dream. Do you immediately write in your journal or do you think you'll remember it by the time it's like. So I haven't I haven't done it in years. Uh -huh. But when I was doing it, yes, I would wake up and immediately write down anything I remembered. Mm, weird. And well, what it would do is it would cause you to consciously try to remember more. And I would. I would have more dreams more often because my brain was like, I'm going to write these down. I'm going to remember these things. So it made you dream more. Essentially, huh. yeah. Or did it just make you remember the dreams more? That's what I was wondering. Yes. Like, I think you so probably have the yes. same amount of dreams. Exactly. But... So here's the thing. So, so from huh. the very basics, first of all, I found this interesting. The very first recorded dream came from the Babylonians in 3100 BC. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's a long it, time. Long, well, long time ago. Okay. 3100 3100 BC. 3100 BC. So that was Jeez. like over 5,000 years ago. That was the first. Re how, do, how do they know that that was it? it? It's the first recorded one. They found a hieroglyphic with bubbles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right? guy's sleeping with like another picture. <laughs> yeah. I thought well, it was an SMS message. <laughs> so that's, that's where this is going to go crazy. Okay. We're going to touch on a lot of topics, specifically like. Dreaming, we may think nowadays, how huh, this is just fun, but ancient days, this was in, in different cultures meant many different things. Mm. To the Aborigines in Australia, to them, a, the dreaming world was a world where past, present, and future were all intertwined into one. Mm. And it was it was a plane of existence where the you know god or the gods or whatever could communicate with man. You see the same stuff with like ancient Egyptians. Same stuff with many Native American tribes, like all had some sort of huge spiritual, like, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Huge spiritual 
Meaning, oh, <laughs> experiences, <laughs> experiences like relations with with dreaming. Um, even in Christianity, you see in the Bible, there's visions. you know King Nebuchadnezzar had his visions through his dreams and yeah. have them interpreted by someone. So you see it all over the place. But uh, ultimately, first thing I want to even do is just talk about some of the dreams you guys have had that you to this day still remember. Wait, wait, wait. Shh. Zach's dreaming right now. Hey, Zach. <laughs> Tell us what you're dreaming about. <laughs> my <laughs> eyes aren't closed. What do you see? <laughs> they might be by the end of this podcast, and I'll let you know what my dream is at that time. <laughs> we'll, we'll wake him up and be like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be your dream diary. <laughs> Mm. Okay, crazy dreams? Anything at all. Because, I mean, honestly, dreams, okay. are, dreams aren't crazy until you wake up and think about them again and realize how crazy they were. I'm going to go a little dark. Oh, <laughs> oh Ooh, right off the bat. Right off the bat. This is one I always remember, and I don't know why. But I remember, I, I don't even remember how old I was. I just remember the dream. Um, I had a dream. I was at my old house growing up, and for some reason, I stabbed and killed my best friend oh dang and then um a car was driving by and kind of saw what was going on and as they were coming up to say hey stop 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 i remember grabbing the knife and putting it up against my temple and i stabbed what the heck is and wrong with you all i remember is a white vision and then i woke up and i went whoa oh, wow. that was i don't know why but to this day, I still remember the dream. Hmm. Well, so, we should probably put an exclusive. <laughs> well, this one was supposed to be fun Explicit, and light. <laughs> Explicit <laughs> warning here at the beginning of this podcast. Sorry, you're welcome. That reminds me. Dreams are going to be weird. <laughs> that reminds me of a dark one I had one time, but now with all of your reactions, I don't know. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. We're here for it. Say you not spray. I started it. You're welcome. Well, that's the thing. Do, do, you, do you often have. No. Darker dreams or, or no, this is dreams. like one of the darkest dreams that I can remember. Other mm -hmm. ones, I mean, I had one that I was on a roller coaster and it flew off the tracks and I tried to stay asleep as long as I could. But before I hit the ground, I woke up. Mm. Wait, you tried to stay asleep? I did. I remember wanna, myself physically play out. <laughs> holding my eyes shut as long as I could. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Why would you want to play that one out? I don't know. Well, see if he was invincible. <laughs> is this final destination? <laughs> what if what if one of us here at the table is invincible? We just don't know it. Oh, Ooh. yeah, we do. I definitely, definitely know not. I'm not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, dislocated, I dislocated my ankle sledding 10 feet. I'm definitely not invincible. Hey, you could be fragile, just fragile. You know what I mean? Like maybe you just don't die. But your you Achilles can just heel. break a lot. That's just your that's your Achilles heel right there, okay. your ankle. Yeah. Right? All right. Yeah. Well, let's hear this dark dream of yours. So I had a dream that the girl I was dating at the time broke up with me. And I have a 22 rifle that my grandpa left me when he passed away. And at the time, I remember I had the rifle in my closet and I had one bullet that someone gave me. And this is like, really, I had the one bullet and the gun and that was it. But yeah, in the dream, I remember she broke up with me. So I got the gun, put the bullet in it, put the gun in my mouth, pulled the trigger. <laughs> gosh but and then two peas in a so, pod right here my so, goodness so and the, then flowers that's flowers what i was just here. thinking that's weird but the bang no. <laughs> just the bang sign <laughs> so no so I'm, i can still see it and it was like how curious did it go to third person it did it's so <gasps> bounce Whoa. back so as soon as i pulled the trigger it like went to third person as if the camera was in the corner of my room and then it panned out as if it was like the end of a movie. And I watched my body lay there bleeding out. Yikes. Jeez. Yeah, this definitely needs an explicit. Oh, don't you worry. My my dreams are more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have I don't have any dark ones. I got I a remember. dark one. I don't well, let's get them out. Let's get them out. It's out. not like stick around, people. This will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> my dark dream was We're just showing everybody how demented we are. That's all. No. <laughs> my dark dream was is we went camping the family so lisa alden and myself and we were sleeping and i got woken up to alden being dragged out of the tent by a bear oh gosh scary. And just the sounds that were coming out of his mouth and everything and just the uh, anyway and i was chasing this bear down and i was like 
just punching this bear as hard as I could, and it didn't even care. Oh, do you just I, hate that in dreams when all of a sudden you become like you're just not super strong? Weak. Yeah, yeah. You're like hitting things and just nothing. You're just like. But anyway, that's scary. But you're using all your strength. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's Ugh. terrifying. That, that was is. a bad dream. That's horrible. See, I that's I, one where you wake up and you like walk into your kid's room. Make sure uh-huh. he's okay. Uh-huh. I'm sweating. Yeah. So that was one of those. So I've talked about it before. Like I had night terrors when I was really little. And it was to the point where I was terrified to go to sleep. Mm. Like I was afraid to sleep because I was afraid of the dreams I would have. Now, I know we've talked about night terrors before on the podcast, mm-hmm. but as just a quick refresher of what night terrors are versus a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Think of a night terror, essentially think of a nightmare, but you're st- you're like locked into it until it plays out and no external force can even wake you from it. Yeah. yeah. Like I would be thrashing and screaming in my bed to where my mom would come in and essentially hold me down, like hold my arms and hold me so I didn't punch her in the face. I said, is honestly why or she hurt did herself it. or hurt myself. And I'd be screaming and freaking out. And you know, she'd be talking to me and trying to wake me up and I wouldn't. And what was the explanation again? You basically are caught in like a weird REM cycle where you're it's oh, so yeah. So to kind of go into the science of dreaming. So every night when anyone's asleep, you go through two cycles, which is non REM or REM sleep. REM sleep stands for rapid eye movement. And it's just cause they observed that, at certain times when you're asleep, your brain fires random like electrical impulses and your eyes move. Like, I mean, you mm-hmm. could probably wake up in the middle of the night, see your, your wives and like, look at their eyelids and see their eyes. Oh, moving Jenny around, sleeps with her around. eyes open. That is terrifying. <laughs> does she really? She really does. Oh That's my, my goodness. So scary. <laughs> That would scare no, the crap out of me. I hate that. Wait, <laughs> hold up. We all stayed in the same hotel rooms? <laughs> and she stared at you guys all night. Oh, my God. That's now we nightmare know where, fuel. Now we know where Brindley gets at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so scary. I just was I'm watching sorry. you. I just was watching you, you sleep. Wait, so you mean like you're straight up laying on your sides looking at you. Well, looking. You're dead asleep and you just wake up and she's just like. <laughs> Drooling I mean, a little bit. Not quite like wide. Ew, ew. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Not, oh my god. Not quite like wide open. No, but just her just... eyes are rolled back and all you see is white. <laughs> and then she starts speaking in tongues or something. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, so terrifying dreams. I had dreams about one time like King Kong had reached in the side door and taken me out off the dinner table and ran off with me. Mm. I was in a giant's house and he was trying to kill me. Like I had one kind of, sorry to interrupt real fast. I had one where T-Rex, it was right after Jurassic Park came out <laughs> and T-Rex came up over the mountains, but it was like, oh, it, it was mountain? like gigantic because he was just stepping over the mountains within a couple of steps. Oh. And so like it was, and from my house, I was watching it and we were far enough away that it was like we had time to escape, but you could see him coming. It was Real quick, sorry, you didn't finish the how like the difference between. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so in the REM cycle, rapid eye movement, that's basically when your body is prepared for a dream. Mm -hmm. So your brain knows it's going to happen. It paralyzes your body, like your body is paralyzed during REM cycle because it knows it's going to dream and it doesn't want you walking around, you know, the house and dying, falling down the stairs or whatever. So you're essentially paralyzed. Your eyes are going crazy. And it's because you're having a dream and your brain is actually firing very similarly to when you're awake. And because you're perceiving things, you're seeing things, things are happening, you know, and you're living out these sequences. Well, then when you slip out of REM into non-REM, which is basically just a deep sleep, it's the sleep between, yeah, the restful sleep where your body can just kind of rejuvenate. Your brain can replace all the fluids and all the things that your body has used throughout the day. Um, when you have a dream during that time, your brain actually freaks out and doesn't know that it's a dream. And that's where the nightmare comes from or night terrors mm. because you, your heart starts to pound. You start to sweat. You think it's really happening. Your brain is actually scared. Mm. That's mm. crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so yes. weird. Quick question. <clears throat> Which cycle is it where your your brain is actually filing all your information? Do you know? Oh, like kind of processing? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's REM it's, also. It's during REM. Yeah, because, because again, a lot of people perceive dreams in, in the psychological sense as you meant, like your brain dealing with things in your daily life. Yeah. And figuring them out. Like, have you ever gotten stuck on a really difficult level in a video game? 
You can't beat it. You're pissed off. You go to bed, wake up the next morning, and you beat it in one try. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Happened to me all the time. It's because your brain is working it out all night. It's figuring it out. It's trying to figure out what to do. Next morning, you go back and do it, and it's freaking easy. Huh. And that's same your subconscious. Thing. Doing yeah, that, same yeah. thing with like learning an instrument or uh, yeah, hmm. something to that effect. Yeah, you always are why, a little bit better the next day. Is that why they say like if you go to bed with headphones on listening to something, whatever it may be, you could wake up mm -hmm. like say like a language tape to learn a second mm -hmm. language. You could wake up and not necessarily know it right away, but it would be better at it. Be better at it. Yeah. yeah, helps you understand it. Yeah, I believe more. so. But uh, so because I had these night terrors when I was a kid. Um, my dad actually gave me a priesthood blessing. So he, you know, gave me a blessing to basically make these nightmares go away from the day I got that blessing. I have never had a nightmare in my life, a nightmare or night terror, anything knock on blood. all my dreams have been phenomenal. Wow. Lucky. Like send your dad over. No, <laughs> yeah, no for real, dude. I, I honestly, it all, I attribute it all to that moment. And like, like, I, I have had dreams that were, like, not super pleasant, but they weren't nightmares. I, I didn't wake up in a cold sweat. I wasn't freaked yeah. out. I woke up, and I was like, oh, that was dumb. That kind of sucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wasn't ever scared or anything. Yeah. But uh, I, some of my dreams are, like, kind of comical. <laughs> I, would, I would find that uh, <laughs> there would be times where I'd be running from, like, burglars or robbers or, or someone tr out to get me. And they'd like have full on guns shooting at me. And I'd be like, well, I need to shoot back. And I'd have a freaking Nerf shotgun. <laughs> and so these guys are shooting real bullets at me. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Nerf guns at these guys. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not going to die today. And I would fight back the whole time. Or they'd like end up getting close to me. And I'd like start beating them with the gun. And it would like break in half. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> It just like all the just random crazy stuff like that. Um, I often have dreams about being superheroes. Mm. Like I've Man. been many different superheroes. I've been Superman. I've been Spider-Man. I've been Magneto. I've been Wolverine. I've been Colossus. I've been. Man. Wolverine would have been dope. It yeah. was. But here's the catch. <laughs> Every single superhero dream I've had. Something is wrong with my powers. <laughs> <laughs> so could that, that, could, that be, could that be translating from the real world? I don't is something know. Something misfiring? No, not at this time. I was young. <laughs> you try to get your claws out and they just kind of barely pop. Out. Yes. No, that's exactly what it was. I straight up had to like, it was almost like I was straight up constipated. Like I'm sitting here and I'm like, yeah, I got this. And I'm like, and they would like, like come out. And I'm like, yeah. And then I'd stop, and they would just go, shink. <laughs> I was like, come on! When I was Spider-Man, I could climb on walls perfectly, but my string was silly string. <laughs> so I was just like, like all over the place. Um, when I was Superman, I, I could only fly for a minute. Like, I had to run really fast and jump, and then I would fly up, but I would fly up like a frisbee. You know when you throw a frisbee at a yeah, forty-five yeah, yeah. degree angle and it comes right back. So you you spin uh -huh. like this through the air. No, I wouldn't spin. <laughs> oh, but kidding. I would run and go woo. And then like woo. the wind would take you back. Yep, come right back uh -huh. to where I jumped, and that was it. I had a dream. My most remembered dream that I ever had was I was a werewolf hunter. Ooh. But I like had a silver sword, like blade style almost. But I didn't know blade was out. And That's I remember funny. that dream. But I used to be able to like control my dreams. Yeah. Lucid. Like, oh, I yeah. wasn't watching the dream. I was actually in my dream, like, picking which way to go and, like... It's called I, lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is the I, I would lucid the dreams. <laughs> <laughs> See, and that's, that's another goal of the dream journals, is once you're more, more and more realizing you're having dreams, you can recognize you're in a dream, and that's when you can begin to control it. But I remember I was running up to this brick wall, and I had two werewolves behind me. And I look at it, and I was like, I can... I can jump over this wall. And I was like, oh, there's a crack right there. And I'd look, and all of a sudden I'd see a crack that wasn't there, but I knew it was there to get a hold. I go and I climb this wall and I jump and I had throwing stars and I went, yes, <laughs> and destroyed that one werewolf. Dude, that's awesome. And then the other one came and I got him too. I had one, <laughs> I had one that I realized was a dream halfway through. 
and I was um, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly how it went now, but it I was using power lines as like a slingshot. And uh-huh. so, but like for myself, so I would like get in it back up and then launch myself and I would like fly like hundreds of yards. And I could, I remember looking over the ground, seeing everything below me as I'm sailing across. And then I'd land and kind of trot a little bit out of it. Then I'd find the next power line and do it again. And <laughs> I mean, I'm just cruising. And it was, and at first, before I realized it was a dream, I was terrified because it was that feel of falling. Like I'm mm-hmm. flying over with no parachute, mm-hmm. no nothing. And so I'm flying over, but then at some point it clicked and then I was having fun with it. Uh, but yeah, that, <laughs> for me, there was one dream and this is, so I've had lucid dreaming many times. We've talked about it in the past where I had the lucid dreaming where like the demon stuff started happening uh-huh. and I, Yours was and I figured it out like that it was a dream and I was trying to combat it and I couldn't ever do anything, which was super frustrating. But before all those happened, there was one dream where I was being chased by some bad guys. I don't really remember all the details, but I just remember just bad guys. <laughs> yeah. I was running up this, like, you know how in movies they have like those cliffs that just go out to a point and there's like, Oh yeah. Cliffs yeah. on both sides. Yeah. I was running up to one of those and these guys were chasing me and I turned around. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm in a dream. I can fight back and I can do like, I can try and control my dream. And I got super pumped and then I turned around and I was trying to do stuff. And it like, I, I just couldn't imagine. It's always weak. Uh, yeah. And then I like when I came to actually fighting, it was I was just super weak. I couldn't do anything. I'm yeah. like, this is stupid. I it's know this so is a dream. Let me freaking knock him out of here like a home run or something. Yeah. <laughs> now, I something I've noticed before, sometimes when I end up like start lucid dreaming, my vision like gets it like deteriorates blurry? like yeah. fuzzy it yeah. like blurry and like very focused and i'm like come on i know i'm controlling this why can i see it in real life you're just like you're like no <laughs> i'm on a beach with so, cindy so actually you say in, in real life you're doing this so you said that uh, when you're going into that REM cycle that it paralyzes your body mm-hmm. so what is sleepwalking like how if you're supposed to be paralyzed why do some it's, people it's get up and start it's moving? when it's not happening Like it's for whatever reason, your body, your brain isn't paralyzing the body. So is it like a chemical your brain releases? to? I'm not sure. I think so. I'm honestly not fully sure. Because it's the opposite effect when you have sleep paralysis, right? So now you're awake, but the paralysis hasn't Mm -hmm. come back yet. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is weird because if it is a, if it is a chemical thing, Uh then you can't really explain being able to wake up to like the sound of something in your house and then being able to get up and move mm-hmm. immediately. Huh. I'd wonder, maybe it is like, a, it's like a switch. I mean, the brain just like, just like disconnects the body. I don't know, but, <laughs> but I can't wake up like that. As far as, um, like the perfect example is when we had the earthquake last year. Um, man, I, I knew what it was and I immediately thought the kids, you know, so I get up, but man, I was just all over the place. Like, uh, <laughs> I mean, it was an earthquake. I mean, even, for, <laughs> even aside from that. So I guess if anything, I was walking a straight line. <laughs> the shaky ground was keeping me straight. Well, but. so I've always had a weird, a weird kind of control over my like sleeping to where I can drown out any sound I don't want to wake me up. But I can also almost say to myself before I go to bed, if I hear this or this, wake up. Hmm. And I straight up will. If I hear that sound, even the faintest, I'll I'll wake up. It's like that Seinfeld episode where Kramer sets his mental alarm clock. I did that my <laughs> whole life. Yeah. And it works. It is the craziest thing. But I would literally visualize in my head setting an alarm clock. And I can wake up like a minute or two before my actual alarm clock goes off. Isn't that the most That's, frustrating thing? Uh, is when you do wake up like yeah. five minutes before you're like, oh, yeah. oh I could have had five more minutes. Oh, yeah, but so. I was dialed in, dude. I was waking up like a minute or two, uh-huh. like enough time to look at it for a second, have it go off, and turn it off. Wow. Huh. Uh, I can't do that. It's wild. That's what I'm saying. This but stuff is crazy. The noise thing. Mm-hmm. I, I think my body has gotten used to all the normal noises. So yeah. if there is something that's out of the You're norm, like, that's different. I will wake up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This, this is one not of the sound I like. One of the crazy things I learned about a dream a long time ago is that your brain does not create faces. Yeah. Everything, every face you see in a dream you have seen before. 
My faces I see in dreams are usually muddled. Like, they're not well, clear. I was, yeah, I was just going to say. So when I was younger, I would have, every once in a while, I'd have a similar dream where I essentially was, like, chasing or courting the love of my life. I have no idea who this person was. All I know is it was a woman, but she never had a face or never a face that I could make out. Mm -hmm. But I, I felt that I loved this person more than anyone in the entire world in the dream. Mm -hmm. And I would even wake up and be like, man, who was that? Like oh. almost like Isn't that enamored. Weird? And yeah. I'm like, Oh, like I have a crush on this imaginary human blurred out human <laughs> that I do not know. <laughs> yeah. And that yeah. was the thing though, is cause everyone else in my dreams, I always had faces on them. Uh -huh. But this person would appear and never had a face. Huh. That's <clears throat> I had I had a dream. Well, actually, I don't know if I could even say it was a dream because honestly, to this day, I don't know if it was real or a dream. Hmm. It was I want to say I was elementary age and there was this girl that I really liked and I actually went over to her house and we I remember we played. Her brother was there and we played in the basement. I can still picture the basement. It was it was kind of sort of an unfinished basement, but they had like carpet rolled out that no padding or anything. It was just carpet to so you're not on the concrete. They had a workout bench um, and we would just play. I can't remember what we played. I, I, I mean, now it's been so long. I can barely picture what the girl looked like, but I remember her and her brother looked very identical. Like they weren't twins, but you could tell they were brother and sister. But the crazy thing, the crazy thing is, is I still know what house it was too. Like I, I drive past it. It's in West Point. I, I can look at the house, man. That's the house that I went and played at. Are you talking about my sister? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like my house. What are you talking? <laughs> but, but no, really, like I can still see the house and everything. But the crazy thing is, it's like I remember such vivid details. At the same time, I don't know if I ever actually went to this house and played with this girl. Wow. And so, and to this day, I have no idea. Yeah. But Wild. I don't know. It's weird. I have I those ones that I don't. Go ahead. I have those all where I don't know if it was a dream or it's an actual memory of mm -hmm. when I was younger. Yeah. I have plenty of those. I was going to say, I've had dreams of actual people that I knew in real life who I had crushes at the time. And then the dreams just added fuel to the fire. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> you wake up yeah. and you're like, oh, I love her so much. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and like you think about that person all day. Yes. Like it's, that's Drove what's me wild. insane. Is that a lot of the feelings you would have out coming out of the dream would stick with you all day. Uh -huh. So frustrating. So I read this thing that men will dream about women that they either know or uh, um, that they've seen. And women will dream about celebrities or like hmm. popular figures. Interesting. So, and I mean, not to s sound bad, but I think I was reading it more on like a sexual level. Like mm -hmm. when men have sexual dreams, it's usually with just a woman where when women have sexual dreams, it's with like a celebrity or somebody of importance. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I I, yeah. I thought that was kind of, I like, mean, I do know I've had, dr I've definitely had dreams about famous people, but like, and they weren't like sexual. They were like, I had a crush on these people and in the dream we were like dating, but it was never like anything more than that. <laughs> See, I've had dreams that, uh, where I've hung out with celebrities, but like as a hangout, like, they were like uh, a human, not a celebrity. Like exactly. Just a, a normal person. Like, I think yeah, I had one I where yeah. it was back when Shia LaBeouf was um, like around Transformer time when he was still kind of normal. <laughs> but I remember me and him hung out and we were the best of friends. And I woke up like so bummed that I really didn't Doesn't know that him. that piss you off? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I've had a few of those dreams and you're just like. Come on, man. Like, Posty, come on, bud. <laughs> we yeah. could be the best of friends. Or you have you have those dreams when you, like, l win the lottery. Uh. You wake up and you have no money. <laughs> I had a dream. I got a brand new pickup truck. I woke up. There was no truck. <laughs> yes. <Or something>. Yes. <laughs> I've had a dream where something as simple as just whatever, I'll call it, like, a trial I was going through at that time. In the dream, I worked it out. 
and then you wake up realizing, ah, hell, I haven't worked it out. With I'm it. still yeah. going. Well, yeah. well, same with work. I have dreams where I go to work sometimes. Wake up and I'm like, oh, I still have to go to work. Oh, I've had that. That's the worst. I hated it so much. I've still had that a lot that. with work, but I, I had it more back in school. I'd mm-hmm. have a dream that I'd wake up. I'd be getting ready for school. I think... I think I had so many dreams where I played out my whole morning routine right up to the point of walking out the front door. I mean, like detail to detail. I would wake up, have breakfast, shower, get dressed, get my backpack. I'd be out the door and then I'd wake up and realize that I'm still in bed and now I have to do it all anyway. Oh, I was pissed. Oh, yeah, dude. So, yeah. <laughs> I currently will have dreams that I am have to go work on a certain den on a certain car mm-hmm. and I'll wake up and have to work on that car that I had in my dream. But it's oh, not man. its not the same dent, but it'll be the same exact car. I'm like, what the heck? And that happens Ugh. quite a bit. That's oh, crazy. It's they, weird. They were say, I was in some of the stuff I was reading. They were saying that some dreams can be, is it precognitive? Is that yeah. the word? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was going to say, have you ever had a dream that like basically was the future? Deja, Deja vu. vu. Oh, well, that's different though. Deja vu is like, I'm sitting here. I'm like, I feel like I've had this conversation before. This has happened before. What, what, what? But like, I have full on had a dream that played out exactly the same the next day. That's crazy. Like, and I could remember vividly the dream and I saw everything happen. Wow. That's See, crazy. Yeah. And it's only, I, 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 I want to say it's happened twice, but I only really remember the one time. So did it play out that way because you had a dream about it? So you just thought to play it out that way? I don't know how that would or, happen though. I know. But you know, because kind of it literally was what was the I was, situation? I was a little kid and it was a Saturday morning. And I only remember that because we went to a yard sale. So I had a dream that I went to this yard sale. Mm-hmm. This particular um, person at the house, like the, the young girl was running a little candy table. And I walked up to her and I bought a candy bar. And like that, that was the dream I had. That next day, we go to this very yard sale at this house. The table is set up the exact same. The girl is there wearing the same thing I dreamt about. Jeez. I bought the same candy bar, and the interaction was exactly the same as the dream I had. And I was, like, blown away. I was like, I can see the future. <laughs> That's so, wild. So you either smoked peyote <laughs> or you went to a parallel universe. Dude, See, I, I've had, I don't know. Or I've both. Had, I've had it where it was more deja vu than precognitive, but I've had deja vu so strong that there's been very small moments where I'm like, I think I've, I think I've been in this situation before. This feels really familiar. And it's, and then I've even said, it's so familiar that like someone's going to walk through that door and then somebody walks through the door and it's not like very detailed, but it's enough to where I'm like, I can kind of pick out little You're things. A step ahead, yeah. Yeah. But this was like the exact scene that you yeah. had in your dream. Like I dreamt it, and then it happened a couple hours later after I woke up. You should have got a different candy bar to see if something happened. Dude, I was like, blow a wormhole like, in the universe. Yeah, dude, I didn't think about that <laughs> stuff. You like, should have taken. I'm gonna the go blue for the pill, Snickers. Right? No, I'm gonna try the Twix. I'm getting. Boom. The, I'm <laughs> like, get the She's like, you can't. <laughs> That's not how this no, is you, supposed to happen. You see her over there, like going to take your money, and then she glitches a little bit <laughs> as you changed fate. <laughs> It's like, wait, what's going on? Well, is that, on? Isn't that in the Matrix? They say deja vu is essentially like they a change something. In the Matrix, yeah. Mm-hmm. A glitch in the Matrix, yeah. But uh, some some other like <clears throat> random reoccurring themes I've had in dreams are th- there's kind of two of them. So if I was being chased by any any guy or anything like a group of guys or a dude like trying to murder me, halfway through the dream, I would somehow become friends with them. Hmm. And they wouldn't be trying to kill me, and we would end the dream like friends. Huh. If I was being chased or a woman was trying to murder me, halfway through the dream, we'd start making out. <laughs> nice. And this happened like often. Like, and they're like, I remember there was this one dream where I, I could fly, and we were f- like, she was chasing me through this house, and we were like fighting it up and stuff. And I come out the door and I fly up like real high, and I'm ready. She comes up, and then we just start making out. <laughs> Is it about like, Wonder Wonder Woman? Woman? like Catwoman style, huh? You Catwoman and Batman, or Mr. And Mrs. Smith? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like I don't know why. Okay, I'm choking to death. <laughs> I don't know why. Got your back like a butt crack. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> 
But like these were reoccurring themes. Now, since we're kind of dancing around it, why is it when you always have a fun dream, <laughs> you always wake up before before excellent. anything really happens? Before climax. I mean, not always. Oh, lucky, lucky. That's actually something I read about dreams is so you can not only have sexual dreams, but you can orgasm you, in, in a dream without the actual orgasm. You guys never had without the dream? mess afterwards? Without the mess. So, like, your body will still have the same sensation, but without Interesting. the I don't actual... Think wait, wait, wait. Have you never had a wet dream? I have. Okay. I have never. Bro. Listen out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have either. I mean, it, it all, well, here's the thing. All it is, is well, your let's body. let's be honest. You were 30. I, yeah, it's true. Exactly. <laughs> no, that's exactly what I'm getting at. That's up. actually what I'm getting at, is that a wet, a wet dream is perfectly natural. It's because your body has too much, and it needs to get rid of it. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> but it's great. <laughs> I, I learned that women can have wet dreams, too. Really? Yeah. Mm. I did not know that. <laughs> Got Tony doing his research. <laughs> Where's your pen and pad of paper here? <laughs> it's all up here today. <laughs> this was more of one of those fluid subjects. I didn't have to have like I straight up facts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, now that we've kind of talked about some of the dreams, um, I want to dive deeper into it. Like, what do you guys actually think the dreams are? I think it's my body or my mind just telling you no. Creatively. <laughs> True body. Tony, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think it's my mind creatively putting the information I've learned for the day and filing it for me is what like I kind think. of organizing. Yeah, because I can see like similarities in my dreams of things that have happened the day that day or the day before to where it's, it's like dramatized up a little bit mm -hmm. and made fun. Dude, my, my dreams are so fantastical. Like, I want to yeah. know. We kind of mentioned it before we got on or got recording, but um, I want to know. Oh, now my mind just went completely blank. I want to know what the uh, um, like the subliminal messages are. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, yeah. Subconscious. Yeah. Well, like so how they say, um, you know, if you're dreaming about. uh drowning mm -hmm. we'll just say if you're dreaming about drowning maybe in real life your your workload is too much and so mm -hmm. you're uh so you feel like you're drowning basically like dream interpretation like yeah. what does that's, my dream mean yeah, oh, yeah. that's People what i want to know is they say that almost every dream you have has that message to it or has some kind of like mm -hmm. your mind's trying to tell you something to yeah. your sub to your subconscious yeah i wish like, i could wake up being able to interpret my dreams Oh like, yeah, and I mean, I I used to kind of play around with well, that. Reverse, your subconscious is trying to tell your mind. Yes, yeah. sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I I would wake up and look into that some of that stuff because I mean, people have been trying to interpret dreams for thousands of years. Yeah, like this is yeah, nothing th new. Didn't they say that scientists still have yet to figure out why we dream or yeah. if there's even meaning behind it? Yeah, and I mean, you're in you're asleep a third of your life. Yeah, and you're you're dreaming. So you enter REM about ninety minutes after you fall asleep. So if we go long enough, we'll be able to see Zach in REM. <laughs> <laughs> what are you dreaming about, Zach? Yeah. Zach. Dream. He's dreaming about Dream. his bed. You know what's crazy, though, is I, I don't ever, I don't think I ever dream. Or if I do, I have no recollection of my dream after that's, I wake up. That's actually just it. So that everybody dreams. Yeah. They, they yes. said that the only people who don't dream have severe brain a severe brain disorder of some kind. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So you are dreaming. I think <laughs> you just don't remember it. But over time too, if you don't think about your dreams, they actually subside very quickly after you wake up to where you don't even remember. Well, and, and through the night, your dreaming sessions, like your REM sessions actually get longer towards the end of sleep. So like you might start and have like a, sm like a 30 minute window. And the next time you have like a 40 minute and then 50. And this is typically every 90 minutes. So it's not, like, you would have maybe four to five dreams a night. Yeah. See, and I notice the dreams I remember, the ones, like, I'll wake right up. Right before you wake up? I'll, I'll wake up, 
like an hour before I actually need to get up and I'll go to sleep real quick. And I'll remember from that time to when I wake up my dream, mm-hmm. I'll have a dream in that section mm-hmm. section of sleeping. I've had dreams before where I'm suffocating and I actually wake up and like, <gasps> like, like oh. as if I actually stopped mm-hmm. breathing. Well, you I know, that's, scary. that's where you kind of go into some of the mythology where it's like, they, they talk about like the goblin or the witch that sits on your chest a lot of times that's what causes sleep paralysis, but they also say that she's basically sucking out the life from you. They call her Mara or the Mara. Life Ugh. force. Sucking mm-hmm. the life force out of you. That's why it's cats. like goblin woman. The, yeah. That's why cats sit on your chest. It to protect you or to steal your soul. They steal your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie Cat's Eye? Uh, it's a Stephen King where uh, they thought that this cat was trying to suck the life out of this little girl, come to find out she had this little troll that was actually sucking the life out of her, and the cat kept jumping on her chest to protect the little girl to Spoiler get alert. the troll. Really? Yeah. That's no, interesting. I see, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I don't trust you. it because I had a cat, and every time it sat on my chest, it was trying just, to it just stuff. run its claw across your neck. No, it would literally put its paws on my nostrils or my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> go to sleep, sleep. Austin. Go to sleep. Go to sleep well, forever. I honestly think he figured out that that would wake me because I couldn't breathe. Uh huh. <laughs> and so then he just kept doing it. He's like, wake what up, wake up. I'm wake hungry. Up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what a butt. Yeah, dude. But so. Uh, going back to like ancient culture and stuff like they've all had different beliefs about dreams um i found one that was interesting in japan they believed that if you had trouble sleeping it's because you're already awake in someone else's dream oh i I think i've heard that before so they they kind of have that belief that this dream world is like connected and i've actually had that thought so if you can't fall asleep at night it's because it's because you're awake in someone's dream People must be dreaming about me a lot. All the time. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> well, you got to think of, time. so, I mean, think of it. How wild, I've had this thought, how wild would it be if there there's a dreaming world? Huh. When we go to sleep here, we wake up there and live a life just as vivid as this one, but we forget about it when we go to sleep there hmm. and pop up into this life. What, like if, what if you were living two lives, but the, both lives didn't know about the other life? That what sounds if, like a movie that needs to be made. Right? So your sleeping you is having the life that we're having now. And who knows? You're, you're living in a... Yeah, it's a vivid, it's a vivid life. It could be completely different. And, and dreams. on another planet, I don't know, somewhere else. I don't know. But you're connected through this dream Where world. Where you're Wolverine with no claws. <laughs> yes. <So they're laughs> dream is like vividly kind of what we go through during life sure a day i better be a billionaire on the other side of this right it does you no good <laughs> yeah, exactly. hey but at least half my life what if, what if no when no one was dreaming about you you would sleep like no matter what so at any point in the day if somebody was not dreaming about you you would just drop to sleep Dang, and you could be only be awake if someone was dreaming about you <laughs> I always, I also I always wished I had like a superpower where I could just fly into like when I go to sleep, astral projection, like fly out of my body, but I could go to anyone else's dream oh. and like just pop in and be like, what's going on in here? That would <laughs> be Ooh, so weird. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I wasn't going to bring it up, but Cam, you got some weird A dreams, dude. <laughs> uh, Bro, I have seen some things. Fantastical <laughs> dreams. Need to clean my eyes. <laughs> Need to clean no, my eyes. I was going to say, though, you and I, we've gone and done uh, sensory deprivation, sensory deprivation mm-hmm. and that was super dope. And I, ever since we've done that, I've wanted to go there and actually sleep in the pod. Yes. I want to do that. And see what would happen. Yes. Should we make that a video? We should. should. All isn't five that, of us. Isn't that where uh, it's so quiet that you almost hallucinate? You, you did not almost. So <laughs> it is, you're in a, a big box thing, essentially, and it's full of water, which is the same temperature as you are. And that water has about 1,200 pounds of Epsom salt in it, which makes you float Boy, no right. matter what. Like, yeah. you're, the water is only like this deep, and you're not touching the bottom. Hmm. You, you don't get past half down. Yeah. Like, wow. you float here. And you're naked. <laughs> you're, you're, you're naked. You're completely naked. The temperature's the same as you. You can, you, 
you can completely relax because you float. You let every muscle relax, which you can't do when you're in a bed or on a couch. Something is always touching your skin. There's resistance. You're not getting a full relaxed state that you do in this tank. Mm. Then it's pitch black and there's no sound. (sighs) And it is the most freeing, weightless, relaxing, crazy thing ever. And, and you do, you straight up start to hallucinate. You think you're awake at first. And then all of a sudden, you're floating naked through the rings of Saturn. <laughs> and there's a pirate ship flying through space <laughs> telling you, don't hit me. And it flies away. <laughs> yeah, dude. That is what happens. If you guys ever go, trip. I want to go. Okay, so here's the thing. I want to go. <laughs> if all of you guys are curious what we're talking about, I'll, I'll link them down below in the description. We, there's one or two. I think I've done it multiple times, but the one video for men try, I'll mm-hmm. link it down below. It's a very fun video. But I think... We need to go back to iFlow and do an overnight yeah, session. Dude. You can Keith, do it overnight? Keith would totally let us do overnight. Oh, let's do it. Keith's so rad. Anyway, if mm. you're in the Utah area, check out iFlow. He'll appreciate the shout out. It's incredible. I know people. No, you guys. I want to do it so you bad. Guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like you. So, so at first you're sitting there and you're like, okay, I'm like, you're just kind of getting used to what's going on. And you literally, you stop feeling the water. You can't feel it. You feel oh. like you're floating. Well, and that's what I was going to say, too. With the water being the same temperature that you are, you can't tell where you end and the water begins. Yeah. Huh. So you oh. are literally one with the I already see in. myself hallucinating as I'm melting into the water. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> well, it's, it's, to take it further, you know, uh, you, we've all seen Stranger Things. Yes. Yeah. That scene where she, 11, they go into the gymnasium, they're filling up the tub, throwing on uh, in all the salts. They're basically making one of these. Yeah, right. it's a sensory they're deprivation They're flipping tank. off all the lights. They're trying to make an at-home sensory deprivation tank for 11. Oh, man. So is inside of the pod the same temperature, too? Yeah. Can you fi- so you can't feel any nope. difference at all? Nope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the temp- air temperature is the same as the water temperature, which is the same temperature as you. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, you, it makes you think, too, like... Is it the five senses of our body that are causing our soul to like stay attached? You know what I mean? Hmm. And so you take away those five senses. And a lot of people think that sensory deprivation tanks are a way or an avenue to go into some sort of astral projection for your spirit to leave your body. They've even done studies in the CIA trying to control astral projection Hmm. using tanks and stuff like this. So, you're sitting there and and this is what was wild to me in the beginning is as I'm sitting there, all of a sudden it's, it's pitch black, but all of a sudden it almost seems like I'm in space, like stars start to appear like faint little lights start to appear. And I'm just like sitting there like I'm like, I wonder if I'm going to fall asleep. Am I going to see anything? What's going on? And as my brain starts to kind of calm down, these little stars start to appear and then I had this overwhelming feeling like I was just sinking into whatever. And these stars that I could see started to just rotate. And it's like, I was, I was just falling into like black. Just, I don't even know. (laughs) Right. So that I, all that happens all of a sudden I'm freaking projected out to the rings of Saturn. There's a pirate ship flying through space. How long would you say you were in? We were in there for what was it? We were an hour. Five, five, was it an hour? It was an hour. An oh. hour, and it went like that. Jeez. Because yeah. after I was in, you know, in Saturn, I <laughs> I was pulled back because time was up, and I was like, "Holy crap!" Like yeah. it was so fast. How do they wake you out of this? They they slowly turn on music and stuff to slowly mm-hmm. bring you okay. out. Yeah. But the crazy thing is, they come in with symbols. I know, right? <laughs> no, the the craziest thing is though is it does go by quick. Like I remember. Because we do YouTube, you know, y- you want to bring something to the table. You know, you don't want to just be like, oh, nothing happened. Sorry, guys. You know, sorry. And so I remember when I was in the tub and I was trying to force something like I was like, OK, come on, let's get to bed. Let's get stuff. doing this. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's mm-hmm. go. And my mind just wanders like crazy. Like I can't mm-hmm. focus on nothing. My mind just is imini- immediately doing and thinking mm-hmm. of things that I need to do later that day. And so with it being completely silent, my mind was just going. Right. And so luckily, like, I think 10 minutes into it, maybe, I don't know. I remembered, okay, I can turn on music. And I know, I know that music makes me centered where I don't think about anything. Yeah. So I turned on some background sounds and music 
And then I was able to fully relax. And did you have the lights on or off? Off. Okay. And then, so then when I sunk into mine, <laughs> all of a sudden I was an eagle and I was flying above these like horses all trotting and, and, and Indians just racing somewhere. And I was like, Caca! <laughs> like, did you still hear the music or did the music dissipate i uh, the music dissipated huh but the thing is is a lot like cam and this this is a crazy part because we both talked about this afterward mm -hmm. and I, it's crazy how it all started because once i finally let go and was able to relax and didn't have any expectations stars started appearing hmm. but instead of like falling and sinking away and going into a spin it was almost like i hit a warp drive where i was like the stars just started going and then all of a sudden I just found a hole and then, and then I was an Eagle. It was freaking Dude. dope. And to make it even crazier when we came out and we were talking to uh -huh. Keith, Keith, the owner, he, we, before we even said this, he was like, yeah, like a lot of times, you know, people have a hard time. They might, it might not work on their first try, but typically a lot of people will start to see stars and they'll start to like sink into it. And we were like, shut up. Like that freaking happened. Yeah. And it was, it was insane. He's like, no way. Like he was just as excited as we were. Yeah. But we need to go back. Yeah, we do. He told us, do you remember what he told us about the, that one dude that goes all the time? So he told us a story about another guy who would visit frequently because there are some like regulars. Well, this guy told him a story about one, one session. He goes into the tank, immediately falls into sleep. He awakens on a, like a cliff on this massive cliff. Like imagine, I think it's those cliffs in like Scotland mm. that are just like straight cliffs oh, yeah. down to like water, ocean and stuff. Well, he awakens on this cliff and he turns around and there's a hooded figure standing right in front of him. And this figure looks at him and goes, you're not supposed to be here. What? And he pushes him. And so he falls backwards off of the cliff and he swears that he felt himself fall into the deprivation tank. And so like the water splashed and he like wakes <laughs> what? up. What? Uh-huh. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, dude, I, I remember you, that story. Did he tell he you might that have, while I was still in? He might have actually, but like that story stuck with me. Cause oh, that again, gives me like, chills. I do wonder like, are there times? Cause I know that some dreams are just wacky and ridiculous, huh. but I've had some vivid dreams where I'm like, this is something else. You know, oh, like that's not, do we leave our body? Does our consciousness roam Ooh, the universe? The chills. Huh. So here's the thing. And obviously like I'd need to talk to Keith. I know that the one place that we went to only has two tubs, mm -hmm. but I know he owns multiple places. I didn't know that. So, I mean, we wouldn't be able to all go to the same place, but it would be super dope if maybe we could do something, all of us like overnight and then meet up early in the morning yes. and then like do a podcast on our experience. Yes. I, that'd oh, be man. awesome. So is it like a form of hypnotism? It's no like, do you like well, I guess let me back up a little. Like, do you think so? With hypnotism, the more you do it, the easier it is to go under. Mm -hmm. Do you think if you kept doing these deprivation tanks, I think you would have no problem? Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just Chris would just walk sleep and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just drooling into the tank what you're immediately. Gonna do. <laughs> I think I would have a hard time getting to that state. You might I, it's be something surprised. you have to practice or like get comfortable. Well, that's the with. thing is, we didn't practice at all, yeah. No, and it's like I said. I think that well, if you did it, my mind works like yours. I'm just always if I'm See, not a certain task or a certain thing I'm doing, like music's the same with me. I can drown out what my brain's thinking. And you could but, turn on the music or the lights, but my brain goes a million miles, and I'm like, okay, I got to get this done, get this done for this, to this. Yep, always. And that's the thing, though, is it's like I feel like your senses are a tether. Yeah, like they keep you in place. But once you lose that that feel, that's like I don't even remember a smell. Like it, there was just not a smell. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, you're obviously not tasting anything. You're not hearing any. Uh, in my case, I wasn't hearing anything. It was pitch black. What about the salt in your eyes? I mean, I never let it yeah, get in my eyes. Your face doesn't go below See, the water. This is where I always overthink things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, if, I you, if you wipe thinking, your like, eyes, what if you get in there? You kind of get wet. Now that you're in there, the top half of you is. Like Crusty. beating off the water and it's like starting to itch because it's the salt water and it does well it's uh, Epsom salt so it's dissolved. 
Yeah, it's fine. It's not like your normal traditional salt. Not, yeah, That's it's not fair. like the ocean. Although it is weird because you get out and you have to shower real good. Yeah. Because otherwise you have like literally salt caked on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but while you're in there, it's not. It's weird. Yeah. But uh, mm-hmm. like what if those senses are what tether you kind of to it tethers your brain. And so your brain, as soon as those senses are gone, your brain's like, well, I'm free. Where am I going? Yeah. Like an alternate reality or something. Yeah. And I mean, I think I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm fairly certain. I remember Joe Rogan saying he has, yeah, he he has, has one. one. He also takes shrooms. When he, he also, yeah, about. I was going to say he takes DMT or something, right? Yeah, he, Doesn't takes, he? he takes a little extra help. Like, but I mean, that would be a wild ride. Let's just <laughs> say, sign me up. If you're, <laughs> if, you're a, if, you're a good, if you're good church going folk and you don't do the drugs, this is the best you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It's pretty great. But uh, <sighs> like, have you guys ever had reoccurring dreams? Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time. I did when I was little a lot. Yeah. I don't remember them, but I have to. I, I had I, those demonic dreams that were recurring. Yeah. Did you well, ever have like, them where like you, you would wake up and then fall asleep and it would start right where it left off? Oh, I've had mm-hmm. I had them all the time. But like I had reoccurring dreams to where I would like weeks later, months later, I'd go back into the same place, like same environment, some alien world. And I would continue from where I left off months before. Hmm. And it would, the dream would continue from there. I've had those dreams to where like I wake up and I want so bad to start where I left off. And I I get so frustrated. It's almost like you get excited about the dream. And so you start to wake up and you're like, no, go back. And then you can't get back to where you were. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate that. Yep. Oh, I've had that. What about you, Zach? What? What about your dreams? What about your dreams? What you gave us your dark ones. What are your good ones? (laughs) I don't know. How many weird ones do you remember? Um, Tell about the your little like when you you say it doesn't happen as much anymore, but um, when you were sleeping out of your house, out of your bed, you would have those um almost like sleepwalking moments. Like you yeah. did one with Caro about the track. orange light or whatever. Yeah. I mentioned that in the last one we had. Yeah. The oh. running around the kitchen. Oh yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Screaming and yelling yeah. and yeah. And stuff like that. But what was that one with the light? You remember where it's like that light's blinking or something. Oh, I heard it. Is it no. not as funny as I remember it? I don't know. Probably. No, I think I leaned over to Kara and I told her that there was an orange man in her pillow trying to talk to her. <laughs> Gross. Oh, oh oompa loompa. Something. <laughs> oh, I remember you talking about it in a podcast. You were like talking to her and she was like, oh, oh okay, okay, go back to bed. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, has yeah. to ease me back to sleep sometimes. See, uh-huh. I've done that before. Like, I, t- I talk in my sleep from time to time and say super random stuff. Mm-hmm. I've gotten up and I've done stuff as far as I, re- I and I may have mentioned it I don't know but there was one time I got up stood on the bed and started swiping at the ceiling <laughs> and Jenny was like what are you doing and I'm like I'm rotating the Tupperware <laughs> <laughs> and in my dream you the Tupperware was on the ceiling as if it were like the ceiling fan almost mm-hmm. and you had to rotate it every so often or else it would go bad <laughs> and so yeah. I was rotating the Tupperware and when she asked what are you doing I'm like I'm rotating the Tupperware and she's like what and I'm like ah oh, never mind dude is because it? in your head it makes perfect yes. sense mm-hmm. yes and when but obviously you sound like a crazy person mm-hmm. and so trying to explain it to him is impossible no. it's like yeah, no I it's can. like that that line from inception put it perfectly when they say in the dream, everything makes sense. It's only after you've awoken that anything seemed weird. Yes. Or yeah. different. Yep. And it's so true. Cause yeah, in your dream, you're like, this all makes sense. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Why don't you understand it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And then you wake up and you're like, what the fuck did I smoke before <laughs> I went to bed? See, yeah. but Jenny, she, she's, um, different in the sense that, uh, she hasn't done it in a really, really long time, but she'll start to dream as she's sleeping or slipping into sleep and she could almost be mid sentence and then start to slip into something. There was one night this, again, this was years ago, but she was like, we were just, we were finishing a conversation. We kind of got quiet, started to go to sleep. But moments after she just was like, I wish I was a giant spider. And I was just (laughs) like, 
why? And she's like, because then you could like trick or treat more than one house at a time and put all of your legs in front of different houses. <laughs> I've done this before. And she's not I'm wrong. just like, what? <laughs> like I was, cause it was so random, <laughs> but she was like already slipping into uh-huh. sleep. Yep. Lisa's done that. Yeah. yeah I've and done I, that I had before. a friend do it one time. This was, uh, again, years and years ago, he was sitting on my living room floor. We, it was late. We were just kind of talking and I can't remember what he was talking about, but he was like, yeah. And then the police came and then when the aliens walked in and I was like, whoa, what just happened? <laughs> Cause it was just like, total right. Felt like, yeah, but yeah, they slip into it in mid sentence. And uh, that's crazy to me. Cause yeah, I can't, I have to, I've, I've done that before because yeah, I I've, I've been blessed with the ability to fall asleep extremely fast. <laughs> like if I, if I go to like, if I'm prepared for sleep, and I lay on that pillow, I'm gone in like five minutes. Huh. Wow. Same. I'm out. Same. Yeah. And Same so thing. if I'm extremely tired and someone's talking to me and it's like keeping me awake, that's when I do that same thing. Like mm. then I'll break into this weird realm where I see things and I start talking about that and they're talking to me. So I'm getting the input from both ends and I'm trying <laughs> to respond and huh. it's like so, doesn't make sense. So that reminds me of something I was reading about dreams. Have you ever had it where you're in the middle of a dream, but then an outside noise or something happens and your brain automatically puts it into your dream? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like I've had that with my alarm before. Mm-hmm. Like my that alarm will start going off and then like it plays in the dream and it takes a sec for me to finally snap at him. Oh, that's my alarm. Dude. Like, well, yeah. it takes a long time. It sucks. I had a dream once. And I was, the, my alarm clock started going off. I was in a room where the entire wall was made of speakers and oh, clocks. Oh, no. And I was trying to turn off the sound and I was getting pissed. Oh, <laughs> I was like, everything, I was like, where the freak is this? <laughs> and I'm like going all over trying to turn this stupid noise off until I finally woke up. I almost threw my phone across the room. But <laughs> That's awesome. I remember when I was learning German in junior high and high school that... I was had a hard time trying to pick up on what I was saying until I started I started dreaming in German and like speaking in German. Everybody was talking to me in German, so I had to learn it. Oh man. But then me Lisa and I got married and I hadn't had any dreams in German for a long time because I hadn't thought about it. And Lisa wakes me up in the middle of the night. She's like, What the heck are you even talking about? She's like, You're talking to me in some weird language saying nine and this and that. And I was like, I nine. just had a bold on conversation <laughs> with her in German. And I was asleep and had no idea. Oh, Dude, man. I would I would have dreams like that on my mission where every time I would dream about speaking Spanish, I had the I was at the same ability that I was in real life. Huh. So I, I had a dream. I came home from my mission. And I'm only like two months in. I come home and everyone's like, speak Spanish. And I'm like, hola, como esta? That's all I know. Oh my gosh, I need to go back. I didn't learn everything. And like I would freak out and like progressively over time, I got to the point where I was pretty much dreaming constantly in Spanish huh. on my mission. Did That's your cool. dreams change at all or were they like do you see any common outlier when you were dreaming in Spanish? It just that like when when I was learning it, everyone spoke to me in English. When I figured it out, everyone spoke to me in Spanish, even people that didn't speak Spanish in real life. So like if I would dream about family or or friends at home, they would speak to me in Spanish. Crazy. Uh, And they, you know, they didn't know Spanish. Did you see yourself as a, as an Argentine, Argentine, Mm -hmm. Argentine? Yeah. Did you see yourself as an Argentine or were you still yourself? I I was still me but I could speak Spanish. And the other, I mean, Argentines are also all very fair skinned people. Have you ever, have you ever dreamt that you were somebody else? Like not like a superhero you know, or anything like that, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I have, it's weird. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that dream. There's a lot of mirrors. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Sister, I will say, have you ever had the naked dream? Yes. Were you naked? I can't remember a Bro, specific. Bro, I walk around yeah. with so much confidence in there. It's great. <laughs> in my dream, I'm just like, yeah, I'm naked. <laughs> so what you gonna do? You're basically a baby then. Oh, dude, it's great. <laughs> you're scarlet. Yeah. She's like, oh, diaper's gone again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so funny. Or like the classics, like teeth falling out. Have you ever had losing your teeth dreams? I have. Uh, I heard a folklore that if you dream that your teeth are falling out it's a death omen 
that you're oh dang but i also heard though that if you dream you're falling the reason why you wake up before you hit the ground because if you actually hit the ground you'll die i've always, I've heard, always that. heard that urban legend mm-hmm but have you ever had it? I had so this that's in, why Zach wanted to see how that panned out. Yeah. He this wanted to wanted get out of here. here. <laughs> so I want to stay asleep. Oh, I've Forever. had it. I've had, <laughs> I've had that dream. What if you died in a dream that you then were stuck in the dream forever? Oh, wow. that was a good one. Right? <laughs> I mean, I'd be lucid dreaming then, and I'd have control of everything. I'd be crazy. That'd, That'd be scary. Be. Sorry. No, I've, I've had the dream of falling while in school. <laughs> that, was that, the yeah. that sucks. I you're remember. Sitting. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. yeah. He you're sat behind me, <laughs> and his asleep. arm, his yeah. arm was always right here. <laughs> I would lay my arm out like this, <laughs> and I'd sleep on my arm. And man, there was one day, and it was like I started to slip into that deep sleep, mm-hmm. and my body knew it and woke me up, and I flung my arm across her I was like whoa <laughs> the desk, and that's always at the quiet moment in class I hate oh, that oh it was so Try embarrassing there was there was no hiding it I jumped bad <laughs> well did I ever I can't remember I if did. this was just a thought or if I actually did something wasn't there a day where I like acted on an impulse and you didn't you do something to my hand? I can't remember what it. I don't remember if I bit <laughs> yeah. you or or I licked you. I don't remember. But his hand was just always. It was always right here because it was always first class in the morning, and you would always tell Tony would stumble into class, had his beanie on his, and you know his side swept bangs. Yeah, his hoodie yeah. zipped his up, so patch. and he was like Going ready to fall phase. asleep. We and all he'd went come there. in, lay his binder down. Bam! <laughs> Five minutes into class, that's what, where he was. And he'd just sleep. And there was one day, I was just sitting there, I'm like, I wonder what he would do. <laughs> and I don't remember what I did. I either bit you or something, and I, I can't even remember I, how it panned out. But yeah. I just, <laughs> what? I, I slept in class a lot. I slept in math class one time, and the teacher tried to... Uh, he was like, Tony, what's the answer to that? And I popped my head up and I'm like, I don't know, because I was sleeping when I shouldn't have been. <laughs> and I totally I called him, like, called him out on it. And he was just like, OK, like, he, he had nothing. <laughs> Felt like Eminem and eight mile when I said everything that he was going to hold against me already. So he had no comeback. Uh, <laughs> dude, did you ever do the uh, the alarm where you'd hold a pen? No. Yeah, dude. So I would, if I was falling asleep in class, I'd hold a pen over the edge of the desk. So when I fell asleep, I would drop it, and the sound of it hitting the ground would wake me up. Oh. So I knew, like, so I didn't slip into like drooling sleep in the class because I've done that genius. before. Genius. Oh, I've done that before. Oh, I've drooled. You wake a lot. up and uh-huh. you're just like. See, and that's why on the arm right here. You just, <laughs> you just come out of class with that spot every time. Oh my gosh. No, yeah, dude. And the I've... book bag covering your crotch for whatever reason. <laughs> because yeah, because yeah. your morning glory. <laughs> dude, that was uh, the worst. I hated when that would happen. Well, one thing I was reading about that I thought was kind of interesting is it was saying that even blind people dream. But they yeah, they they see images. Like people who are even born blind, so they've never actually seen mm-hmm. what we see, they still have their own images. Mm-hmm. Which I, I thought I didn't even I wonder what I didn't even to... think of that and I was like oh that's fascinating I always wish too that you could like record your dreams oh, it's just yeah. all black just <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> <hear> voices <laughs> what if it's like sensations what if they don't yeah. s- well, well, that, yeah, you that's said what I mean. you said images never yeah, mind that's what it's kind of based off of is is their other four senses their brain creates images uh-huh. based off of smell touch uh, sound mm-hmm. but. Yeah, apparently, apparently, twelve percent of people dream in black and white. Huh. I've had a black and white dream. I've never had a black and white. I don't dream. think I, don't I, think have, I have. I have either. But it was more like, well, I guess it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was black and white, and I didn't know why. But it was almost just like it was twilight. So everything there, like you knew what color it was, but you couldn't see the color. Now, is there a stat on how many people had black and white dreams who grew up watching black and white television? Oh. Uh, I don't no, know. it just says twelve percent. Because I wonder people. if that's gone down drastically because there's no more black and white TV. Maybe, mm, maybe. Hmm. It was saying that nightmares um, between like three, 
three and four year olds, if I remember right, three and four year olds are most prone to nightmares, and that after ten, you're like, yeah, less likely. Yeah, it like drops dramatically. I always wonder what a three and four year old have a nightmare about, though. Oh you know yeah, what I mean, well, well that's yeah. just it. Is at that age, it could honestly be anything. Yeah, if you think about it, and it, like you literally can think back and think of the dumbest stuff, and you're like, that was terrifying. Huh. Like you could dream about your gummy bears coming to life and trying to attack you. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, I remember as a kid in my old West Jordan house. I remember my parents put for whatever reason a Care Bear poster in my room. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I had this dream that they broke out of the poster, but the minute they broke that plane, they had like these sharp teeth and claws, and they were trying to get me. And so I woke up from my dream, running to my parents' house or my parents' room, and then at the end of the hallway, there's the stairs, and I ended up falling down the stairs oh, trying to get gosh. into my parents' room. Jeez. Huh. Dude. Oh, that's so, terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So I know it's it might be getting a little, but you kind of mentioned it, morning glory. Mm -hmm. So I was seeing that uh, it has nothing to do with sexy dreams or stimulation. It's called nocturnal penile tumescence. And it causes men to have three to five erections every night, some lasting up to 30 minutes. Does three to say, five? Does it say there's a reason? It doesn't really go into it. Whatever that I swear nocturnal you're your penile pee. That's term message what I feel is. like it's because. because you're holding your pee pee. That's what I feel like. <laughs> not your actual pee pee, but the pee inside of the pee pee. <laughs> I mean, then how do women not pee themselves? They're holding the pee-pee. <laughs> they get boners, too. <laughs> <laughs> Internal. <laughs> Internal so boners. My, my earlier stat was a little off. They say that you can have between four and seven dreams a night. Wow. Mm. And that within five minutes of waking up, 50% of your dream is forgotten. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that. That's what I'm telling you. The dream journal. It makes your brain practice, like, remembering it. Mm. And you... you Because, again, if you're having four to seven dreams every night... And you don't remember one for like a week or so, you're missing out. That's like free freaking uh, cable <laughs> <laughs> made up by the most insane people in the world. <laughs> you got a point. Like, I, I just, I also wish you could just make dreams more vivid and you could literally just spend all night like I, watching dreams. We should make a goal that every one of us starts keeping a dream journal and then we talk about it. Dude, I'd be down. Episode. That would be fun. It's so fun. I love I love dreaming. Like I get excited. And you can even I even at one point was able to kind of right before sleep, like force myself into some dreams. Mm. Like I'd think about the subject a lot and I'd go to sleep and it would a lot of times happen. I did, but it never turned out the way I wanted it to. Yeah, when sometimes <laughs> it'll take a weird turn, yeah. that's for sure. So I saw that depending on the position you're in can also influence your dreams too. And what you eat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you eat late, it's it said that uh, your metabolism is now running and it keeps your brain active and it's more likely to have nightmares huh. because oh, your brain's running. But yeah, it was saying that uh, like if you sleep on your stomach, if you sleep face down, you're more likely to have a sexual dream, to have a dream about being locked up. Um, I don't know why it says hand tools. I don't know, <laughs> but um, but you can ha have more dreams about being naked, being smothered, um, or swimming if you're sleeping face down. being but naked, smothered, and swimming? <laughs> <laughs> All of them together? <laughs> Interesting. Well, have you ever had fever dreams? Those ones are always... Fever? What's that? Oh, you're like when you're sick, have oh, a fever. Oh, I've weird. heard they're, they're, they're like yeah. messed up. Just yeah. never had those crazy, just yeah. freaking weird. The ones I hate are kind of on the subject of being sick is when I take like NyQuil or something. <laughs> I have weird dreams. That's where I think I had the dream about Alden. Was I was sick and had a fever and I slept and he was getting Ugh. attacked by the bear. Yeah, I have some weird dreams when I'm on medicine. Hmm. Melatonin. I did much, try doing melatonin to get me to sleep. Those make you have weird dreams. Really? really? Well, yeah. that's it. Also, it helps you sleep better. Uh, no, no. I mean, like, <laughs> like actual sleep better, as in, like, you go into a deeper state of sleep. Yeah, maybe. But well, because your spell. body naturally produces melatonin to put you to sleep. But I think there's a point to where you're artificially putting that oh, into yeah. your body to where it throws things off. Just, just like caffeine helps you 
feel awake, melatonin, extra melatonin makes you go extra deep. But I always felt like more groggy after yeah. taking the melatonin. Mm -hmm. So I stopped. I've never tried. I've heard that if you take a sleeping pill, but then force yourself to stay awake through it, it will Dude, get you high. Weird things happen. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't remember it. I don't know. They I remember put... I had a friend who, she took a sleeping pill, Ambien. an Ambien. Yeah. And then we went and picked her up and we were hanging out and she just started being real weird. <laughs> <laughs> she won't remember it. Oh, yeah. She was all, saying all kinds of crazy stuff. She was just acting weird. I was like, what the freak See, is I happening? See, I got put on that because I have a hard time getting to sleep. And so I... I got put on that, and I, I guess I was doing weird things too with my roommates that I lived with. They're mm -hmm. like, "Don't take that crap. You're a freaking weirdo." Like, cause yeah. I wouldn't actually. My body wouldn't. Let, I wouldn't let myself actually go to sleep, and I'd stay awake on it. And you don't remember hmm. what, what you're doing. What do they call that when you ambient shop? Yeah, there's a specific name for oh, it. Oh, like I don't know. But you're like all of a sudden they just. Next day, they get all this stuff shipped to their house. They're like, what like, happened? Because they, they <laughs> took Ambien and watched infomercials? Yeah, or something. I guess I peed in some girl's boot one time. Oh, jeez. Like, it's weird. I don't know. My thought it was the toilet. My sister, <laughs> she would eat in her sleep. It had nothing to do with, like, sleep medication mm. or anything like that. But uh, she would wake up with, like, half-empty cans of Pepsi on her dresser. Um <laughs> She'd have like nutter butters half eaten under her pillow, things like that. It's almost really, it's just a demon under her bed going for a midnight snack. Right. Um, <laughs> I oh my gosh, he's speaking. I know he's right? awake. Hallelujah! Don't interrupt him. <laughs> Fall again. Stay with us, Zach. Stay with us. <laughs> um, I, this is gonna get weird. Um, I actually have. Sleep sex. I nice. was going to bring that up, but I didn't want to because I didn't know if you were going to go there. Or not. Well, I like will you, bring it up. Like you hump the bed? Oh, no. Full on. I've full on gotten into it with Kara. Oh. oh. And I what? will I will wake up halfway through and go, oh, this is what we're doing? Oh, All right. <laughs> I've done that, Lisa, and I oh, were both asleep Pamela. doing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my heck. Yeah. yeah. That, uh, you... It's funny because it, usually if it's ever done in the middle of the night, care afterwards will go, okay, what point did you wake up? Uh, at this point? So, at the end? <laughs> so, do you, did you ever wake up and be like, oh, it's you? <laughs> you're, not, you're not Cindy Crawford. <laughs> Just kidding. Have you, are you dreaming about sex? I don't know. He doesn't remember. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. I'll wake what up. if you were dreaming about something dream. like completely different, like you're a race car driver or something, <laughs> but for some reason your body Dude, just I goes like, into this. I've, I've, <laughs> I've had sex dreams where I've woken up and I'm like, at, like thrusting <laughs> and you wake up and you're just like, what's happening? <laughs> no, he's a bull rider. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> So well, that's what I mean. It's awake? something like completely Oh, yeah. Different. Kara wakes up. Are you the one who starts it? Yes. Huh. Oh. Supposedly. He doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she tells you, right? She tells me, yeah. She, you don't know I'm, she's I'm telling the you the truth. I'm she's the like, one whatever. That, yeah, I'm the one initiates it. <laughs> huh. Yeah, me and Lisa, well, I've woken up and I just, I didn't even know I was dreaming or anything. I wake up, I'm like, how did I get in this position? That's, that's how I am. I just huh. kind of wake up going, huh. Well, I'm going to keep going with it. I like where this is going. Uh, oh, that's funny. So, <laughs> you never had that happen? No, no. Never. I mean, I. Yeah. I've Usually been, when I sleep, I am out. I've been woken up, but it's like when I'm still on a very light sleep. So it's kind of that like I don't know. Uh, fuzzy and then I kind of come to, but. Never like in the Good middle. Of words. I just, yeah, I just. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a peach, <laughs> little fuzzy. I just wake up and I'm like in the middle of it, or like I'll wake up and I'm like, "Hey!" <laughs> 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 and, but it hasn't happened for a very long time, but it did happen when we first no. got married for the first couple of years. This is. Still recurring. Oh yeah, well, it's all the time for me. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Oh man, that's got to be fun. It's, <laughs> yeah, you wake up, you're like, oh heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so that or um, you ever had dreams? These ones freak me out. Where uh, something happens in your dream and you're bawling your eyes out. Like I had one where my mom died. 
Uh. Like she got into an accident or something and she died and I'm like bawling my eyes out. I wake up and just tears everywhere. My pillow's sopping wet. Like mm-hmm. I bawl my eyes out in real life. I have had that, but I wake. And then the dream I, feels so real after that. Mm-hmm. I woke myself up with like a sob. I'm like, <laughs> and like, like myself, uh, yeah, yeah. So, that's that's how I've woken myself up too. Now, now that you mention that, I've actually had a dream. I want to say it was within the last year. I don't rem- even remember what it was about, but I remember Jess woke me up because I was like sobbing. Oh no, man. no, no, uh, no tears, but just like I was make. She could tell I was in stress, like distress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so she woke me up, and I was like. You know, super thankful because it was a terrible dream, but I, yeah. I don't remember what it was about, but I just remember her waking me up. Huh. Yeah. I've woken myself, not to crying, but I've woken myself up to like a noise. Of course, I, huh? Or you fart You fart in the middle of it There's there's random times when I've either been Falling asleep or just after I've fallen asleep And I make some weird Moan noise (laughs) And I don't know why Like you're laying there and you're like (laughs) <laughs> I've like, done it so many times. I've done it sleeping on the couch. We'll, I'll, we'll have a movie on and I'll start to <laughs> doze off and I'll <laughs> and then I turn and look at Jenny like, did you hear that? Like, yes, I, did that. Like, I sit there and I'm like, did anyone hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I've had the opposite though. I, well, same with the lucid dreaming where I couldn't wake myself up, but I knew I was dreaming. Mm-hmm. And I was like laying in bed screaming at the top of my lungs. Wake me up! <laughs> like uh, I was yelling at Jess, and I was like, "Come on, wake me up! This yep. sucks. Oh. Something bad's gonna happen. Wake me up! <laughs> I don't uh, like this." And, like, then, and then I finally do wake up, and then I like hit Jess. I'm like, "Why didn't you wake me up?" She's like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, "You didn't hear me." Uh, I was so mad. But that those sad dreams, like it's the most relieving thing to wake up from something like that. Oh yeah, like oh it's yeah. An instant oh. change in your mm-hmm. attitude. You're like, oh, thank you. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I've yeah. had a couple of those where it was weird. It happened. One was my brother, and one was my dad. But they like grew old before my eyes. Like I watched mm-hmm. them age, and like get to the point where they were gonna die, and I would I was just crying. Like, because I saw them get old. Like before that my scene eyes. in Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade, mm-hmm. when he drinks from the wrong cup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you ever woken up into another dream, and you thought you actually woke up, but you were it's in another such... dream? Ooh, yeah. Yes. No. I don't know yes. if I have. I have. I can't remember what happened, but I remember. But you woke up in your room, but in your room you were in a dream? In or a you... dream. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I've had that happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, that yeah. was exactly what happened when I was trying to get Jess to wake up. Okay, because I woke up from a dream into my lucid dream, and then I—that's when I thought I was awake. That, okay, that reminds me of Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, mm-hmm. like that's—I feel like where they get that from. Yeah, have you well, have you ever seen Nightmare on Elm Street? I haven't yeah. ever seen it. Long time ago. Do you know the premise of it though? I, yeah, where he haunt, he lives he, like, in the dream. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but, yeah. He, but he'll like yeah. It's basically Inception, but nightmarish. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. there's so many times in those movies where. They're in his boiler room or they're somewhere scary and then they snap out of it and they're in their bedroom and they're like, oh, good, I'm awake. And then all of a sudden he pops up from the side of the bed yeah. or something and, and they're still dreaming mm-hmm. like it's it's creepy. Huh. Mm-hmm. I haven't but. seen Inception either. Oh, oh that was so good. good. Mm-hmm. Speaking Dude, of mess with just mind, with just dreams, dreams. Oh, man, they they nail it perfectly. Huh. Yeah. You know what other, actually, t- on the subject of movies, you know what other movie I felt like nailed the dream sequence perfectly was Inside Out, the Pixar. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. When when they're putting on a show, and it's like it's a TV show. They've got the cameras, and they're like, all right, action, and they're doing the whole thing. and and But uh, Riley, the character, is seeing it as it's supposed to be when really they're just in the TV studio doing things. Mm-hmm. But I was like, that is spot on how a dream I feel like works. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's funny. I'm actually one of the weirdos that with dreams, I actually think a lot of dreams are an alternate reality. That's what I was saying. Welcome to the conversation. I'm not <laughs> saying, I'm not saying, but I'm saying, <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> no, I like there's times where it's funny. I'll realize I'm in a dream and whether it's, you know, I just, you know, whatever. And I'll wake up and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm going to let dream Zach take care of that one. And I'll 
wake up and I'll go back to sleep and I'll fall asleep into another dream. Uh. <laughs> like, what if, but. what if every dream you have, you're going to a different, cause I mean, there's the theory of like multiple universes. Well, that's, I, I know you are going into different dimensions. That's, I know you are no, not all alternate universes. Sorry. I meant alternate timelines. Oh, uh, like oh. that's what I believe. I believe that maybe not all my dreams, but I believe that there are a lot of dreams that I have it's an alternate timeline. It's so an alternate. Like the, what the Aborigines believe. So if you made a different choice in one yes, part of your life. Yes, if I would have made a different choice somewhere, I would be living this part. Weird. And it's an actual, just an alternate timeline okay, that I'm seeing. That's interesting. And getting to be a part of. And then when I wake up, whether it's good or bad, then I go back to my current timeline. So what if, so, uh, so what if when you have those precognitive dreams, it's because you have chosen that timeline? You know huh. what I mean? Yeah. So what he's saying is, Cam, you got bit by the wrong spider. Yes. <laughs> yes. You got bit by the silly string spider. You got Which... bit by the four-legged spider. <laughs> <laughs> the derpy spider. Fingers! Did it make a whip? It didn't actually bite you. It tripped and fell, and its fang fell into your skin. <laughs> Only one fang. Yeah. So half the power. <laughs> <laughs> or he just had one fang. He was you the got, derpy spider. You got half fanged. <laughs> I got bite you. <laughs> the hobo spider. That's what it was. <laughs> I'm just homeless. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I you're Wolverine, it. but they ran out of adamantium halfway through your process. And so you're just. I'm sorry, guys. This never happens. I'm to indestructible me. here, here, and here. That's it. <laughs> so aim for these spots, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I freaking love it. I love the dreaming world. I think it's fascinating. If any of you guys have any crazy stories, crazy dreams, share them below. We'd love to see them. They're fun. Keep a PG. <laughs> but uh, we, if you we, have answers on the like behind the meat or the meaning behind dreams, I'm curious to know, too. Yeah. So if we've shared a dream and you're like, oh, no, you've got some serious mental issues. Let us know. Yeah. Oh, I think we all have serious mental issues. <laughs> That's definitely for sure. You're sitting around this table. You definitely. Uh -huh. <laughs> but hey, I'm going to start keeping a dream journal again. I'll do yeah, it. I, I think you guys should because I think this would be a lot of fun. You guys keep a dream journal. Let us know what happens. Uh, also, another quick fun fact: you can't read in a dream. So uh, if you're ever in your dream and there's words and you can't read them, remember this moment and you'll start wake. You'll wake I up think, and have a lucid dream. I think I. I don't think you can do math in a dream either. Yeah, I've heard that because Why there's is that. There's times it's when because it's the part I, of your brain that does it is like turned off. Okay. Mm. Yeah, because I think I've had dreams about work and at my work, I've, you know, deal with numbers a lot and things mm -hmm. and it's basic, basic math. And I'm just like, what's the answer? Like, I can't. <laughs> yep. And I get so mad that I can't figure it out because it's like, I know this. Like, uh -huh. yeah. And it's because it, when you're sleep, when you're dreaming, there's specific parts of your brain that are turned on. The mm -hmm. other ones are turned off. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. your brain's like, I don't. One plus one. It's like, no, sorry, I'm off for the day. I'm not going to read that for you. <laughs> I don't even see letters. There's just. <laughs> It's gobbledygook yeah it's literally <laughs> like simpsons it's just a line it's just yeah just weird scribbles symbols whatever huh. hmm. but it's good stuff thanks for hanging around guys we hope you have a wonderful night hope you have some wonderful dreams yes um and we hope you come back and see us next time yeah please Th please do subscribe like love <laughs> and thanks for being part of this crowd bye, bye. bye. love you bye.